Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, as part of the series of getting ready for the Big Red Bash, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work on the Hilux. Uh, today I'll be installing my dual battery system. So for the dual battery system, I've got a hardcore 40 amp DC to DC charger. Uh, we'll be putting solar panel on the roof. So I've got a King's 160 watt solar panel. This has a uh, solar input. So we'll be running the solar into the DC to DC charger to help keep the battery topped up. The battery that I've bought is a King's 120 amp hour lithium battery. So that um, should keep my fridge running in the back of the car. I've also got uh, one of these King's little control boxes. So I've got four switches here. I'll have lights, um, you know, fridge input, things like that. You've got a couple of uh, Anderson style plugs there. That was about a hundred bucks from King's. Good little unit. I've also got to install uh, i bought this yesterday from repco in town they had a special on these are 25 percent off so from 400 down to 300 so this is the uniden escape pack so i'll be installing this uhf so as we're traveling in convoy we can keep in touch with each other all right so as you can see i've got a fair bit of work to do so let's get busy <music> As you can see at the bottom of the um, the tub here, where, this, where you pull that hatch out, I've just fitted this in, so that becomes the battery holder, so the battery sits in there. So you can see that battery just sits nice and neat, just inside there. And then I'm, I'm building a um, timber panel just for this back end there, which the uh, DC to DC charge is gonna sit on that piece of board there. So this is the uh, board I'm going to mount the uh, box to, so I'm just got to cut the size so it's 540 by 500. I didn't want it to go to the full height of the canopy. So what I'm doing is I'm just temping it in there for now before I cover it. I just want to check the dimensions and then how much space I'm going to, or how wide I'm going to make this box. I just want to give you a quick look at the hardcore DC DC charger wiring diagram here. So it tells you how to put the, uh, connect your solar, your battery, your auxiliary battery and where you need to place your fuses and things like that uh, with the king's control box here also need to put a 40 amp fuse in between the control box and the battery so at the front for the 60 amp fuse i've got a midi fuse also putting one in the back for the uh, fuse between this control box and the battery so the, midi, so the midi fuse just has a little cover like that, wire in, wire out, and the little uh, fuses that connect it. Thank you. 
So this is my uh, switch panel here. I built this box, so this box is gonna stand up in the back of the Hilux. So I can open up my side window. Oof. And that'll be there like that, so I can access that switch panel. Have a look who's back in the shed. Hi there. Oh, Mr. Floyd. Yep, just with a couple of extra kilos. It's a 12 volt wiring expert, this fella. I don't know about expert. If you call tw um, twisting and taping together an expert, that's me. <laughs> Hello. You got the knife, got the knife there. What do you want a meter of this? Yeah, I reckon. Well, we, like, we'll be able to find something just down under here to earth it. Yeah. Have you got any sun clock at all? Be bum. Be bum. Yeah. <laughs> you getting cracked? I feel it's burning. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you could apply some sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> No applications from me, I can <laughs> I'll put the Anderson, I'll clip that Anderson back on it, just so it won't pull through. Perfect, well let's do, well let's do that first. Oh. You don't want to just whack that in the Anderson? Yeah, yeah, I will. Whack both of those in. Yeah, and, and then that way, because we're going to just, oh, actually. Do you want it the same length? Are we going to punch a hole through here though and fix it on there like that or something? Is it, have you got gap? How's it suit? Yeah, there's plenty of gap, because that board actually sits on the front. Okay, so, so you could flush. come around the back yeah. and then just plug it in. <laughs> it just sucked, it just fell, it just sucked straight out, sorry bud. Okay, yep. Keep going. No. Love it. Okay, I won't let go this time. You got it? Yeah. Um, what do we got? Earth, that side. Beautiful. Alright, she's clipped in. And then, so if I bring it, which, which way is. The, which side's the. So I've got to go left. Around that side, like that. Side. That's the bottom? Oh, does it? That's the start battery. Okay, that side. Okay, right. Gotcha. Yeah.
Okay, so it's a week later, and after getting sidetracked by some tasty pizzas and beers, we didn't get quite as much as we were hoping to get done on the dual battery system. I'm at it again today. I ran out of supplies too, and I also had a bit of a change of plans um, with how I was gonna design it. Originally, the DC to DC charger, I was gonna put under the floor, but the problem with that is I couldn't actually see you know, what settings I had on the DC to DC charger and how things were going. So I've, uh, I've changed where I'm gonna put that. I'll just give you a quick look at that right now. Lift up the side awning on the canopy there, and you've got your control panel, and the DC to DC charger is going to be mounted here, so that way I can actually see what's going on there with the DC to DC charger. Because before, it was going to be mounted down in the box there against that back wall, and I wouldn't be able to see, uh, the panel would be on the left-hand side there, I wouldn't be able to see a thing. So anyway, I've still got a fair bit of work to do um, with hooking up wires and running wires and things like that. So I'm gonna continue on right now. I've got everything I need, I think. And um, yeah, I should have it done this afternoon, I'm hoping. So that's uh, the back of the board there. And the, the battery, lithium battery sitting in there. Got the cables running through the back of the ute. It's from, from the, um, the starter battery, as well as solar on the roof. So I've just got to connect it from uh, the back of the board here through the holes and on the floor. I'm going to put Anderson connections. I think you can see one at the bottom there. Can you see that? Yeah, that Anderson lead there. So I'm going to do it all with Anderson connections so I can remove it nice and easy if I need to. Negative to negative, positive into the positive, and there we go. So that one there is for the power box, connecting into the from the battery to the the box there, and I have to have a 40 amp fuse in between that, which I'm going to fuse off the the other wires. This one here is the solar input. Cable there is my solar, which will put an Anderson into that to connect that up. So I've got all those cables coming out the back of the DC to DC charger. That's the output, that's the solar, and that's the input from the cranking battery. With all your uh, Anderson leads connected at the end there. So it'll make for 
easy disconnection should I want to take that battery out. So now that I've got all the backside all sorted out with all those run through there and the Anderson plugs on the bottom, I'm going to come over into the shed and I'm going to start making a couple of connections onto the battery. And we can drop that battery into place, hook up a few of those Andersons and away we go. So I think it's time to get the battery in, which is uh, exciting to be able to connect it all up now. So as you can see there on the battery, I've got those both hooked up. This is the one that's going to um, the battery, or the, um, the 12 volt box I should say. And then this one here is the output uh, for the DC to DC charger to go into the battery. Just drop the battery into that slot there. And I've plugged in the power ball or the uh, switchboard, and you can see it's reading 13.3 volts there on the power board, which is cool. So that is uh, operational. On the top of the DC to DC charger, I've just gone across and selected uh, the lithium. So, charging profile for that. So, one thing I didn't show you last week was the uh, solar panel on the roof so that's a 160 watt king solar panel i think i told you earlier in the video anyway that is um, punching power into my uh dc to dc charger over here so yeah i'm stoked so one feature of the hardcore charger is they have this awesome app so you can connect via bluetooth you can just tap that button there connect it up and you can see what's going on with your charger and uh, where it's getting power from, solar, DC, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's kind of cool. I haven't done a lot with it yet, so I don't have a lot in the history, but you can check your charging cycles and yeah, everything that's happening. So I really like that feature, that's really good. So the other thing I've got um, mounted last week was the uh, Uniden UHF so it's just on the passenger side there. I can easily grab that from the driver's side. Doesn't interfere with um, anything going on over in the driver's side, which is good. I can easily grab that and um, yeah, have a chat to anyone who needs to have a chat. So with the um, just clips on there, I've just mounted the, the Uniden box up under there. It's just zip tied in place. So if I do decide to move it, um, I've also got that extra cord there too so if i do decide that i want to put it over to the uh driver's side of the car i can easily put that across there so that's the dual battery system set up guys and i'm stoked with how it's turned out it's going to be awesome uh, if you missed our last video you'll know that we're heading out to the big red bash in birdsville uh late june uh, early july is the big red bash so we'll be out there for that it's about a week's trip heading out there about a week coming back and about three or four days out of birdsville camped in the desert um, so I can tick a few things off the list. So that is the, uh, the little switch box here, the dual battery system. I've got that 120 amp hour auxiliary lithium battery put in. DC to DC charger, I've put in the UHF. Got the solar panel mounted on the roof now. Um, so 
There's still plenty more to come um, preparing for this trip out to the Big Red Bash. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. That would be awesome if you can. Like the video and uh, share it with a friend who, uh, who, who may be going out to the Big Red Bash as well. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.